Hey, it's Kat back again. Um, so we've looked at creating a blog, we've looked at creating posts, editing posts, and now we're going to have a little bit of a look at pages. So if we click on pages, let's see what we've already got. Uh, we've got a page called About, uh, and that was just that page. If I click on that, that was just that standard About page where we wrote a little bit of a blurb about ourselves. Um, we don't have any drafts and we don't have any in the trash. Um, so what we're going to do is first of all, like what's the difference between a post and a page? So I've got uh, one of my blogs up here. Um, so I've got home, about, class notes, blah, 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 blah. The home button gives me access to my blog as such. So it's got all these posts in reverse chronological order and I can scroll through them all. And so as I add new posts, they, you know, they add to the top and then they keep going. And so the, the posts page or the blog page, it's constantly updating with the new information, but the about page, it stays pretty static. So that information is pretty much always there. I don't add new posts to it. It's just there. Okay, so it's quite static. So the about page is about you. Some examples of how I've used static pages is here I've got class notes and so I've got all the topics that I teach a little description of those and links to video tutorials if it's relevant. Java practical activities I then link to um, documents that students can download for the tasks to complete. Useful resources is set up slightly differently. I've grouped links to different websites that can help my students learn about Java or binary or whatever. So I've used this as sort of a resource page um, as a collection of links and my worksheets page as a collection of documents, so worksheets that they'll need throughout the year. So a page is more static information in one place. So you might use a page to collect your research about something. Um, so if you're using a, if you're doing some research and you're collecting data through the use of various different apps, maybe you could have a page that says, um, you know, what apps I'm using. So you've got the app and then a description of the app and how you're using that app. I'll just give you an example of a page. We're going to do one together. So I'm going to click add to create a new page. And for me, the things on my blog have been pretty much about the study tour that I've done in the US. Um, so I'm going to put down some study resources. They're not all resources as such, but I can't think of a better name right now. And what I've got is I've thought of um, some of the materials that I've collected throughout that study. So I've, I've collected documents, I've developed documents and presentations, uh, and I've also collected a variety of links. So I'm going to have two main sections here. I'm going to have um, reports and presentations and I'm going to go and fix my typo. I'm going to have reports and presentations and I'm going to have relevant links. So this is a heading, so I'm going to use heading 2 on this one. And what I want to do is I actually want to provide you a copy of some of those files. So I'm going to add media, I'm going to upload a file. Now the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to put up is my scholarship report. So the report I wrote that summarizes what I did in my in my scholarship. Um, so the title here is the text that's actually going to appear on the uh, on that page. I maybe don't want to call it scholarship report. Maybe I want to give it something a little bit more um, informative. So report of my STEM research findings. I'm not going to put a caption or a description, I'm just going to insert that into my post. So it just appears like a normal link, but when they click on it, uh, I'll just preview that for you. When somebody clicks on it, it will actually just download the file that's attached. Okay, so I've attached my report. I'm also going to attach a, um, what's it called, a presentation. I'm going to drag that one in there. 
And so this is a um, presentation um, that was presented to the people funding the scholarship. Uh, it was a PowerPoint presentation, so you note I can upload a document, a Word document. I can also upload a PowerPoint presentation. There's actually a number of different types of files that you can upload. Um, so we're just attaching that one. It's just taking a little while. Okay, so that one's finally uploaded. Let's just hit insert into post. Um, I'm reason reasonably happy with the uh, name that it's put on that one. Then I'm going to have some relevant links. So I'm going to make that one a heading two as well. Um, I've got these links ready to go. I'm going to grab that URL, add the link, paste it in. Uh, the link text is going to be the article name, well, the article title, which was How Harvey Mudd Add that link. Put another one here. Okay, let's preview that. <coughs> so far I've got some reports and presentations and some relevant links. It's not looking all that flash right now, but it is functional and it is relevant information. Um, throughout my uh, research, I found a number of apps that I found particularly useful to use in the classroom. So I might put a few of those in. Apps useful for STEM teaching in the classroom. Might make that a header too as well. So the first app that I thought was quite useful was something called Road Movies. Here's an app made by Honda. So write a little bit of text about your app. Okay, now to make that uh, little blurb a bit more useful in some way, I might actually like to put the app icon. So I'm going to add media. I'm going to upload the file. Now I have already grabbed the uh, logo for Road Movies. Here it is. And I'm going to put it in as a thumbnail size. I'm going to left align it because I would like it left aligned and I'm going to insert that into post. Um, I might just make that iOS app. Might put in underneath Snap Movie is an Android equivalent to Road Movies. And I might put just next to that, I might put the Snap Movie icon. Now, if I put these all in as uh, thumbnails, then they're all going to be the same size as each other, which is kind of a, a bit of a bonus when you're particularly when you're referring to apps, then it, it provides some kind of consistency. The only thing here is I haven't got a little blurb for Snap Movie, so that my next block of text might actually look a little bit odd. Um, so the another app that I found quite useful was Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to add the Instagram logo there as well. I'm going to left align this little guy, make sure it's thumbnail, insert it into the post. Um, Snap Movie does look a bit funny there. I would, if you were going to do something like this, I would actually recommend that you put in more of a blurb uh, there. Or maybe just make that image a tiny bit smaller. I would actually probably just recommend putting in more of a blurb for Snap Movies to get better layout. So let's preview that. Now it's got a lot of stuff that I want. It's starting to look okay. I don't like this spacing around these links. So what I'm going to do, this is kind of a, a quirk that I've learned through my usage of Microsoft Word. These two, once I hit enter, it actually created separate paragraphs, which is why it's got such a big gap between them. So if I click before that one and I backspace it so they're on the same line, if I type shift enter, 
then it will put them together like they're two lines within the same paragraph. Um, it is a bit of a hack, it's a bit of a workaround, which is not ideal, uh, but it does make it look a little bit nicer. Um, now, just for interest's sake, or, you know, appearances, I got a quite a cool little image that I'm going to pop in the top there, just to make the page look a bit more interesting. Um, I'm going to, because I want to, I'm going to center that image, I'm going to make it quite large, and I'm going to make it span across that top section there. So that gives a little bit of an indication what that page is about. So it's study resources in relation to STEM. It's got my reports and presentations, relevant links, apps useful for STEM teaching in the classroom. I'm just going to preview that one there. And it just looks, apart from this little snap movie thing, uh, it just looks a little bit neater now. So I think that's quite appropriate for a static page. It's got a collection of information that is, it's not regularly changing. Uh, it's more kind of a, a resource location. Um, yeah, hopefully that makes some kind of sense. I'm actually going to leave the page settings as they are. I'm not going to set any of the featured image or anything like that. I'm just going to hit publish. Yay, do you want to view your page? Yes, I would love to view my page. What you'll notice now is my blog now has three links up the top here. So as I add pages, I will get more links. Okay. So pages will become your menu across the top. There's all my little research as such. I can go back to my home page and there I've got all my little blog posts. Okay, so that's how you would go about creating a page in WordPress.